So, what's the difference between Canva and Canva Pro? Well, let me go ahead and show you. So here we are on the Canva pricing page. Now what we're going to do is scroll down and look at the features on the free plan and on Canva Pro. Now, if you want to try out a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro, then there will be a link down in the description below. Now, here we are. So this is the free plan here on the left hand side and the pro plan is here in the middle. Now, what we're going to do is just go through this and compare all of the features. So with the free version of Canva, you get 1 million plus free stock photos, graphics, videos, and audio. Whereas with the paid pro plan, you actually get four plus million. Now with the free fonts on the free plan, you get a thousand plus. And on the pro plan, you actually get the thousand plus and you can also upload your own. So if we come over to here for a second, this is my uploaded fonts. And as you can see, I've uploaded a fair few fonts. Now I like to get all of my fonts from Creative Fabrica and I love Canva Pro because then we can upload them into here and use in our projects. Now with the free plan you get 8,000 plus free templates, logos, design types, social media posts, presentations, letters and posters. Whereas with the Pro you actually get 60,000 plus. So there's quite a bit of difference there. Now you can create designs with custom dimensions on the free plan and on the pro. You can export as PDF, JPEG, PNG on the free and also the pro. You can actually export designs as CMYK only on the pro plan. We don't have that on the free. Built in social sharing and presentation mode. You get that on the free and on the pro. Then it looks like the rest of this list just here is only available for Pro, which is custom templates, save designs as templates, premium templates, animations, fonts, videos, media tagging, background remover, more features in Content Planner, and more design insights. So these ones just here are only on the Pro. Now, if we come down to the AI powered design tools, you can see that on the Pro plan, you get a lot more usage. Whereas on the free plan with Magic Media, which is text to image, you only get 50 total uses. Text to video is only five. Magic Design is 10 usage tokens. Magic Edit, 100 uses daily. Magic Eraser, we don't actually get that on the free plan, only on the pro. Magic Write, you get 50 total uses. Translate Text with only 50 total pages. And again, we can see that on the pro plan, you get a lot more usage. Now, if we come down to here, Beat Sync. So you can manually sync your video footage to your soundtrack. Whereas on the Pro, you can automatically sync. Now with Magic Switch, Morph, Grab, Expand, Animate, and AI Admin Controls, that's only available on the Pro. Now with Collaboration, we can see that Comments, Link Sharing, and Assign Tasks is only available on the free plan, whereas everything else with team only links, approvals and approval notifications is on the pro plan. Now team management, we don't actually get anything on the free. You only get a couple on the pro plan and the rest is for Canva teams. With brand management, we actually get a lot with basic content planner, basic design insights, social media, print, presentation and many more on the free plan and you get a lot more on the Pro. Now storage and access, you actually get five gigabytes of storage on the free plan and one terabyte on the Pro plan. One of my favorite reasons why I love Canva because I can actually get unlimited folders, which means I can upload my graphics or anything that I want, store it on Canva because I've got that one terabyte of storage. But with the free, it's five gigabytes, but you still get that unlimited storage. Now, there's no single sign-on integrations. There's no pay-as-you-grow billing, but you do get certification and compliance and type one compliant as well. Then support is practically the same. So that's the difference between free 
and Pro. And if we scroll down to here, there's some frequently asked questions that you can check out as well. Now, if you do want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase after your free trial, then I will make a small commission. Now, if you found this video helpful, then please give me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, then click right here and watch this playlist.